Hey everyone, it's Tony with 4 Money. On this episode, I'm going to show you the fast and cheap and easy way how I swap the grips on my putters. Stay tuned. Alright, so I don't do this very often, but when I do swap out the grips, on my clubs, my putters, my irons, whatever. I try to do it the cheapest and easiest and fastest way possible. Now you can take it to a pro shop and they can do it for you. And it's not that expensive, but you know, I like to do it myself sometimes. So I'm gonna show you the quick, easy way that I do it. So with me, I have these uh, King's Grasp uh, grip tapes. I've never used these before, but they're pretty standard. You can just buy the strips or you can buy rolls. They sell them online. And I've got a, a box cutter with me. I'll show you what this is for in a second. I've got this grip solvent. Uh, there are a bunch of different kinds out there, but I mean, from my experience, they all kind of work the same. And then I've got this hanger, which will be used to help remove um, the grips that I'm gonna be swapping out. So, all right, so let me get into it. This is the one that I'm gonna be taking off. So I'm gonna be swapping it out with this one. So recently I purchased a giant lot of golf stuff and this lefty putter came with it. Now there's absolutely nothing good with this putter except for the grip it's a left-handed putter and it sits very weird it's it's a weird club but nonetheless i'm taking this grip off so there's a few ways you can do the removal of a grip so i have with me this giant nasty ogre putter designed by pat simmons it's probably 30 years old i don't know it's nasty look at this thing this thing is huge I promise you, you can putt four balls at the same time with this putter. This one, I'm going to show you how to take it off when you don't want the grip anymore. You can just cut it out. That's why I have this box cutter. So be very careful when you're using this. Um, they sell tools for this that have like a little hook. You can slip in there and rip right through it. But I don't do this that often. So that's why I just have this box cutter. So it's pretty much what you do. You make a little incision and you go to town. All right, so I got the grip completely cut through and it's just gonna slip right out. All right, so look, this, this, this grip is dead. It's got no use anymore. So now I'm gonna show you how to remove a grip when you want to salvage the grip. So this is the putter that I want to take the grip off of. So this process takes a little bit longer, but nonetheless, it's, you know, it's very doable. I mean, there are other ways I've seen people put like uh, compressors, pneumatic compressor in here. You kind of shoot some air through the shaft and it blows up the, the, the grip and, and you can kind of just pull it out. But if the grip is not in perfect condition, it might tear it. So this is how I take them out slowly. So you get a little bit of this solvent and I have this towel here because the solvent kind of makes a mess. So I get a little bit of this solvent and you kind of squirt it down the shaft of the putter. And that's why you have this hanger. It's a normal wire hanger and you gotta kind of, you know, pinch it as small as you can to make it, you know, where it can slip through. You don't wanna use this end of the hanger, the sharper end, because it might cut through the actual grip. So that's why I use this rounded end that it can just kind of wiggle through it. So you kind of put it in on one side. See, it's already gone about four inches there. You push it through and you just start working. All right, I've got it about four or five inches in so far. And now I'm gonna spray a little bit more solvent to try to work it a little bit more. Once you get past a certain point with the hanger, about maybe more, a little more than three quarters of the way, you can start kind of twisting the grip. See how it starts to kind of come loose already? If you can't get the hanger far enough in, you just keep twisting and you'll start to loosen it up. And then eventually you'll, you'll, you'll break the seal on the inside of the tape and the, and the, and the grip, I mean, and the putter. And 
This thing will come loose. All right, there you go. Just pulled it out. All right, so now I've got a new grip I can use on the club I actually want to put it on, which is this one. And I'm going to do it the same way I did to this other grip. All right, so this grip is off now too. I'll keep it, I'll use it for another putter later. But nonetheless, this is how it looks again. You've got all this tape. And I don't recommend using the same tape because it's already been activated with the solvent previously. All right, I got the, the old uh, tape off. That was a lot harder than I remember. But I know I didn't show you with this one, but let me just give you a, a little quick glimpse as to what I did. So this is the old putter that we took the first grip off of. And what I did, this one wasn't that easy to come off of. Um, so I got a blade and I kind of just made like a little incision going this way, very slowly. And that way when you take the tape off, it kind of wraps around that cut you made and it comes off. So some grips don't come off. I mean, some tapes don't come off that easy. But this one did, this other one, not so much. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna get one of these tapes right here. All right, and I'm gonna lay it right here. One thing to remember is when you put this, this tape on the shaft, you always wanna put a little bit over the top. I'll show you that right now. So you take this little protective layer off. Okay, and you lay it like this, just a little bit over the length of the shaft. You see that? And then you kind of just firmly press it all the way in. Okay, and you wrap one side. All right, pack it down. All right, see how I got it going on here? Wrap it around the shaft. It's very sticky, very tacky. Okay. And here it kind of hangs off the end. You want to just, just push it down all the way around. And the reason why you do this is because the grip itself has a little hole on the end. Okay. The reason why the grip has a hole is so that it can slip into the shaft without the air trapped in it. So it kind of slips on. And because it has a hole, that means that dirt can also get inside. So if you ever get a club and do this and you hear like there's rocks and dirt in there, it's because whoever put the grip on it probably didn't do this. So you put the new grip on there, any dirt goes in through the hole, it gets trapped right here, doesn't go in the club. So that's pretty much why that happens. So now what you do, and remember this is kind of messy, so don't make a big mess. You kind of just spray grip tape so this solvent reacts with the tape and then after some time it will make this grip permanent well as permanent as it gets right so after you spray that you always want to spray a little bit inside the grip as well okay give it a good shake there's going to be some to come out. Yeah, just a little bit. That's good. All right, now what you want to do is you can either do this on the ground and push it in, but I'm going to do it up here so I can show you guys. So you get the grip. And slip it on over the putter. It should go in pretty smoothly. All the way to the end. Yeah, I saw some of the solvent come out this end. All right. And the last thing you want to do, um, especially with grips like this, this grip is meant for the, the, the top part of it to be facing you 
and just make sure that the grip is aligned the way you want it. A lot of the a lot of the uh, grips have this like uh, alignment in the back. And if that alignment's off, <laughs> you might as well regrip it because it doesn't feel right. If it's an iron or a driver or a wood, um, you might want to let it sit for half a day so that way you allow time for the grip and the solvent and the grip tape to kind of you know you know make a firm you know connection for the putter. You're probably okay to use it, but nonetheless, you know, err to the side of caution. Just let it sit for a day and you should be okay. You can go to a pro shop and get it done, or you can do it just how I did it. It's pretty simple. You just need, like I said, these strips of tape. I bought a 13 pack on Amazon. We can get them on eBay for like $6. Um, this solvent, you can get it too for a few dollars. And a box cutter, you might have one already laying around. And that's basically it. Guys, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I got a lot of cool videos coming up later. So, see you next time.